Hello everyone. I was um, messing with this lock and I just want to uh, demonstrate or, or talk about uh, uh, my approach to things. So this lock opens up with a Bogota. I've opened this lock up with these picks over here. And I'll tell you what I did with the hooks. But I've opened it with all these and I'm going to try all these other ones on the other side and here's my reasoning behind it a bogota is like a hook right I mean I mean it's like a it's got a hump all right and so if it's got a hump and the hump is what is acting on the lock to open it let me get this tension tool I got this really deep tension tool in here because um, I needed it to clear all the plastic crap um, but if a bogota can open a lock then my uh, thought process is all right yeah that's interesting I know that I can go to that particular tool to open this particular lock but if it worked with that then it should work with anything that's like a Bogota anything that's got the hump so um, for example this, this is a Peterson's gym when I, I just got and I was trying single pin picking and like I said if you're good at that you know you might be able to get it, but that's not what I'm trying to use this on. I mean, I I can do it sometimes, uh, like just there. See, like that, I did it. But what I'm trying to demonstrate is, let me reset this. This is a unique, and then it's got to have its core reset. Well, not unique, but it's different. There we go. That added step there. Okay, it is locked. Now I'm going to take the, the same gem and I'm going to turn it upside down. So it's going to simulate like one of the humps of the Bogota. And I'm I, like I said, I was just doing this just to experiment. I've opened this lock. I mean, you just saw me open it. I don't know how many times I've opened it. Um, but one time when I first, you know, when I first got the lock, it was a bit of a challenge. Now I'm finding out the, the challenge was maybe the newness or whatever, or my technique, because... Uh, this lock will open up to a lot of different uh, picks. You just have to, like this gym, you just have to use it uh, differently than what you would expect. Uh, I'd hope to get it with this gym. This was one of the more difficult ones. But what my progression was from Bogota to, okay, if the thing that's triggering it seems to be the pin in the very back, back here, then this... Uh, prince or princess or king or queen or whatever you want to call it should be like tailor made for this thing I mean it you get it in the right position and it should open it like a key which it did when I was messing with it off camera I'll try to get this to do it right now I wasn't using a raking I'm using more of a rocking type of motion and I'm trying to hit that Again, I don't know how far I am going back there and the warding and everything. But I'm trying to hit that one secret spot back there that seems to work. And when I did this earlier, of course, off camera, when I stuck this one in there and I just pivoted it once, it went bam and opened it. And I went, wow. Of course, you can't do that on camera. I mean, maybe you can. I'm not one of those type of people that will sit there and take a bunch of shots just to make something look good. If it if it goes 10 minutes, then it goes 10 minutes, you know? I mean, if it happens right away, then that wasn't trick photography. I mean, I, I didn't do a bunch of takes on it, which is fine. I mean, yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's better if you want to do that. I'm not, I'm not belittling that at all. Anyways, you'll have to... Uh, there we go. I was going to say, you have to take my word for it that this works like that, but... Who wants to take someone's word for something? Well, you should take mine because it, it takes a long time to demonstrate this. But, for example, this thing right here, this one works real well on it too because it's operating on the same principle of the hump. So, having said that, the uh, extended snake should work. I had a regular snake work. Uh, a double peak should work. And this is the one I really want to try because... These are advertisers like super great and blah 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 and you should have one of these a king and queen and you know they're kind of expensive. When I first saw them I went, "Man, 
maybe in a European lock with a lot of stuff, but master lock, we don't have a keyway that deep with active stuff going on. Um, if it works on this one, this will be the first lock that I have opened with this. I usually just set these aside and, and don't use them because this is usually what happens. I haven't given them a complete uh, rundown, you know, like I, I don't just keep messing with them. I usually put them in there and say, wow, this thing's either going to break or it's just not, it's just not going to hit enough pins to really do anything. Or if it does, it's going to overset this front one. You know, if the pins are active in the back, then I don't know. It just doesn't look like it's going to work, and it, and, and it hasn't for me. But I wanted to try it. I wanted to give it an honest try and see if it'll work. And, you know, being doubles, you should use the king and the queen. You know, they're kind of like a, a set, which is the reasoning. I'm going to put this aside as a failure for right now. Uh, the Sandman looks like it's perfect for uh, this particular situation because we have a hump in the far back that we need to hit and if it's positioned just right if the hump is positioned right like it's not too far uh, forward or back it should work um, like I said I haven't I haven't messed with with uh, the Sandman too much all these other ones what I would do is I'd sit there and I'd take a pick and if it worked and my theory was working, I'd just run with it. Like, okay, you're going with you're going with hooks. Alright, what's your most extreme one? You know, like a deep hook. Alright, let's take a deep hook. Get this sucker out of here. It was kinda of wedged in there. Take your stupid deep postal hook, you know, it barely fits anything, and jam it up in there and see if it hits that right pin, you know, the right way. Or if you're gonna have to use your key extractor for uh, an actual key extraction because you're goofing around in unknown territory and doing silly things. This one I, I, I'd have to mess with a little bit more. Speaking of key extractors, you know, this is kind of funny. Some people don't know what this is for and they think it's a raking tool or something. No, it's a key extractor, a broken key extractor. But it's kind of like a sharp diamond. And it can be used in a rocking type of motion. You don't want to really try to zip it because you've got like an arrowhead bar back there. But it can act kind of like a diamond. If you look at it, it's kind of like a sloped diamond. It's, it's exactly sloped like you would expect for a key running into the beginning of a lock, you know, to push the pin and guide it out of the way. But coming the other way, it's barbed. So... This is kind of tricky. It's more of a novelty thing, you know, like, hey, look, it'll open up with anything, including a key extractor, which is funny, you know, I find that funny because this is, that's kind of the theme behind, wee, that's kind of the theme behind this video right here is what will this thing not, you know, what won't open this thing up? I mean, a hook will do it upside down. If I knew how to single pin pick better, a hook would get it right side up too. Most people, you know, if it works one way, they don't think about another way. I, like I said, I, I'm bored. I'm sitting here watching reruns of TV shows and stuff like that. And um, I just run with a theory. You know, if this works, then maybe this will work. If the prince works, maybe the princess will work, you know. If a hook works, well, how many hooks will work? I've got a lot of picks, so I can't really go through all of them. But I can give each one a little bit of a try sometimes if I... If I'm trying to be scientific, and this is not a super easy lock to open. I mean, I mean, it's not like one of those Master Lock 150s or something that wants to open up to anything and every technique. This is a little bit more difficult of a lock, but yes, it is just, it's not an Abboy or a, any of these uh, European locks that are high security. It is just a Master Lock hiding underneath a... This is the, the Tron from Sparrows. Again, I'm, it's very good for single pin picking, but I'm, I'm just trying to use the hump of it to see. And we haven't had any openings in a few minutes, and we're up to almost nine minutes now. So, unfortunately, I have to accelerate my pickage time and try to get an opening here. And I'm going with the double Bogota, which, ow. I was really jammed up in there. 
I may have been jammed up in the warning, which is what's preventing me from opening this. I'm jumping all around. I've pretty much tried everything in here that I want to do except for the uh, prints or whatever the opposite one. Uh, this one should not work. It's, if it can go in there deep enough, it may still act as a high setter. But it should do the opposite. My high set pin is the one on the very back, not in the front. So that one doesn't work. And I want to go with a, a snowman. <laughs> Just because uh, a snake and a worm and a Bogota work in this thing. So why not a, you know, a double ball or a sandman? Maybe that ball is too far back, the big ball. And maybe the big ball oversets a pin. So it's something to try. And you know, you don't, a lot of times you don't use these unless you use them going up against wafer locks. So um, you might be surprised at what works on locks. All right, I'm sorry I'm sweating to death and uh, had to fan off because it makes too much noise. And people get sensitive to noise as well. You might hear a fly buzzing around. That was not staged. I had my door open earlier and the cat was enjoying the sun and so were the flies. Let's see, air conditioner kicking on. Okay, so, sorry I couldn't demonstrate more of that, but that's basically my approach behind it is if a Bogota will work, then maybe, you know, of course this is like a Bogota, you know, and, and if your hook... If your hook doesn't work this way because you don't know how to single pin pick, turn it up the other way and rock with it. And sure enough, that works on this lock. So there you go. I'm sorry I didn't open it a bunch more times. But believe me, I'm going to sit here and play with these different picks. And it'll probably I'll probably narrow it down to one or two that didn't work, which is the ones I expected. You know, things that I've never had it. It might just be me. I've seen people on YouTube open them up in locks like this. You know, slag locks. So maybe it'll work. I don't know. I'm just saying. That, king and queen, have pretty much been a waste of money other than I like the handles. And it may work someday. Maybe it's just my skill level. There you go. We've gone into the 12-minute zone. Oh, my God. The last one took two hours to upload, and it was like a 10-minute video. So, people of the future... At least two hours into the future. Welcome. Planet Earth was alive when you last saw it. In case we, anything weird happened. Everything's cool in America. Other than our weird president. But y'all already know about that. Because this goes out to the whole world. And you know, I'm not a big Trump fan. But there you go. I'm, I don't hate him either. So 